Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald. If you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back. So today I finally am doing a very long overdue video that probably is one of my number one requested videos from you guys on Instagram. And that is how I get my big Texas hair using my rollers. Now, these are not heated rollers. These are just basic little rollers. Um, but they do the trick in terms of getting big voluptuous hair that lasts forever. Literally with some dry shampoo, these curls can last for three or four days. And I'm finally gonna show y'all how I get it. It's actually really not that hard. Um, and especially once you kind of get used to doing this consistently, it doesn't take that long. So as you can tell, my hair has nothing going on right now. This is straight out of the shower. All I did was blow dry my hair upside down to give it a little bit of natural lift in it um, from being upside down. And it has no product in it, nothing, because I wanted to wait and do everything with you guys here on camera. So before we get started, I wanna show you guys exactly what you will need to accomplish this look. You don't need a lot, and a lot of it you can substitute some of the products I'm using. So by all means, you don't have to use exactly what I'm using. There's a bunch of products that you can end up getting this look with. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I'm using. So I'm gonna be using my one inch curling barrel by Con Air. Now, one thing I wanted to address with the curling iron that you use is it does not have to be this size. Depending on the type of curl that you want, you either want a small curling iron or a big one. A lot of times if I want to use the look I'm about to do for a very day look, I size up a barrel. I'll either do two inches or sometimes even three inches for a really loose curl. Um, this curling iron gives you a really not tight curl, but it gives you a curl curl look. Um, I don't like the super tight look. And of course with the rollers and brushing it out, the curls definitely loosen up. But just so you know, and you'll see at the end of the video, but just so you know, this does give you a very highly curled look. If you want more of a loose, like pretty swoopy wave look, definitely size up a barrel, but this is what I'm gonna use in this video. The second thing y'all will need are some rollers. Now I have a few different sizes of rollers that I love using. I'm gonna share the sizes so you guys know why I have so many different sizes. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is the two and a half inch size roller, I believe it's the biggest one. Also at Ulta, they size their rollers by color. So if you can't tell what size, it, just get the purple one. The purple one's the big one. And I only have three of these. I use these rollers for the center of my hair, basically, for the, t the hair that's gonna be on top that everyone's gonna see and the bang area where you really want that like big swoop and you don't want like a tight little ringlet. That's what I use my big rollers for. The second roller I have, which I have a lot of these, is the one and a half inch size. Now this is like the red one. These I use for the bottom of my hair mostly because that's the hair that loses its curl the quickest because it has the weight of all of your other hair on it first off. And it's also the hair that's touching your clothes and depending on the type of outfit you have on, you know, it just, it gets messed with the most. So it's more likely to lose its curl, which is why I use a smaller roller so that it can kind of tighten the curl up a little bit. The last size is like one and three quarters or two. It's like right in the middle. And this is the light pink size roller. These rollers I'll use for like the center of my head and like on the side of my head. And these two rollers, they're interchangeable. I mean, there's not the biggest size difference, but the main different ones you want to get are the purple ones and then either a pink or a red one. Sorry, that was a little bit of a long explanation, but the size of the roller definitely makes a difference. The next thing you will need are some clips to hold your rollers. So um, all of this stuff I get from Ulta, by the way, so you can literally, it's a one-stop shop, but just some clips like this. They're just like the little silver ones. Um, yeah, these guys are awesome. And then obviously you'll need a brush to brush your hair out. Um, I would highly suggest an iron guard. This you put on your whole head before you even start styling your hair. I use the Style and Stay Iron Guard by Chi. Love this stuff. This stuff also adds a good amount of grip to your hair as well as protecting it from the heat. So when you do curl it, it's a lot easier for it to not fall out of the barrel because it does have a nice grip and like dryness to it, if you will. The most important spray, in my opinion, that I have used, and y'all have probably heard me talk about it since one of my first videos over a year ago now, but the Fixation Medium Hold Kerastase Spray is phenomenal. This is what I use the most. Out of every hairspray product I'm talking about, this is like the most needed one to accomplish this look. I spray this one on every single curl, 
as soon as I've finished curling it. So this really plays a big part in your hairs looking bouncy and voluptuous, but having a hold so you don't lose them. The last spray that I love is the Infra Texture Spray. It also is a dual spray and acts as a hairspray. So I only use this at the very end. Basically, once my hair is exactly how I want it to be, I'll go in and shoot this a little bit around the areas that I know will most likely move. But that is all we need for the video. A curling iron, rollers, clips, sprays, and a brush. So as long as you have versions of that, whatever size curling iron you want, whatever your favorite hairsprays are, a brush, and you know, these rollers are like the most common ones. They're super cheap at Ulta. We are good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing my hair and explaining it to y'all. Doing the back is gonna be a little harder for y'all to see. I will turn around once all of my hair is up in the rollers, but actually putting it up on camera since my mirror is this way, <laughs> gonna be a little hard so I'll show y'all once it's all up and luckily there's no one perfect way to do this this is just the way I do it so if you do it a little differently that's totally fine so I'm gonna start off with the faux hawk area which is like this like the crown of your head and gonna create three big curls so one here one here and one here my curling iron is turned all the way up so it's like 400 degrees very toasty and before we go in just make sure you your hair with some iron guard the stuff also smells fantastic so definitely don't mind that and this stuff it's kind of sprays everywhere and I usually just kind of crunch it into my hair so I can get all the baby hairs underneath my head so oh I wanted to also let you know regardless of if you have a center part or a side part this is the same way um, you will curl your hair I used to have a side part right here and I would still curl my hair like this so even with my center part I'm gonna do it the same so I'm gonna go in with my fingers, grab a little section about this big. So I'd say it's like two to three inches back. Um, it's not a big amount of hair. Just brush it out. And for these three rolls, the barrel's gonna be horizontally facing like this towards the camera. Make sure you get all the way to the end of your hair. And then just hold it here for 10 to 15 seconds. You don't need to hold it that long, especially with how hot I have my burrow. I don't want to hold it that long. So I'm going to do the first few curls with you guys. And then I'm going to speed up a little bit in certain spots. Otherwise, this video will be like an hour long, even though it doesn't take that long to do your hair like this. If I talk about everything in depth, <laughs> this video is going to be an hour long. Okay, once you're done with your curl, I always like to hold it to make sure I don't lose the curl because you're going to hold it afterwards. So it's going to be like this little tight ringlet like that and it's kind of hot so just be careful and then you're going to brush your hair out with the purple roller and go all the way to the end sorry I know it's probably like cutting my hand off a little bit and then roll it down so it looks like this then you just take a clip clip one side clip the other side so it's up there and then I go in with my Kerastase and I spray just a little bit. We don't need too much. We don't want these to be crunchy curls. We want them to be well-held curls and solid curls, but not crunchy. So I just realized the top of my head is probably gonna be cut out just a little bit, but you guys can tell what the curl is supposed to look like. So I'll make sure to move my head around a lot and shlunk down a little bit so that y'all can periodically see what your hair is supposed to look like. But we're gonna continue on with this three curled faux hawk and I'll make sure when I'm done to show you all the sides, just in case I'll need to see more how it looks like. We got our faux hawk so your hair if you're doing this along with me should look like this we got little three separate curls on the top of your head so the next thing I'm gonna do are the sides of my head so what I'm gonna do to easily section this off is put my thumb straight back behind my ear and go back basically right to the end of where you picked up this last curl 
and then pick up the hair. So I'm gonna turn back so y'all can see. This is where I picked up my hair back to. So we have this big chunk. Now with this thumb, I'm gonna section this in half into two pieces like this. So your hair should be divided into sections like this. So I'm gonna start with the back piece first. Just brush it out. You guys should be able to see me pretty easily do this. Since I won't be curling up, I'll be curling sideways. So just take your curling iron, put it here, and you always, always, always want to make sure you're curling away from your face. If you don't understand what I mean by that, I'll show you in my next curl. But just like the three curls we already did, make sure your curling iron goes all the way to the end of your hair. Now for these curls, I'm gonna use my red rollers, which are the smallest ones, um, because the curls around your face tend to get messed with a little bit as well. So want them to be just a tad tighter so that they last as long as possible. So you should have a perfect little curl like this. You're gonna take your red roller, put it behind it like this, brush all the way out to the ends until it is wrapped around the roller. You're just gonna keep rolling it in all the way to your head, like that. And there you go. Full spray. So that's what this curl should look like. Now we're gonna go in with that front piece we sectioned off. And I'm gonna show you real fast what I mean by curling away from your face rather than curling in. So to curl away from your face, the clampy part of your curling iron needs to be facing towards the mirror. If you go like this and curl away from your face, you will have a big dent at the end of your hair because you'll be curling in the opposite direction that you clamped your hair. Also, if you do clamp your hair with the little clip facing away, the proper way to roll it would be inwards and then you're curling your hair inside towards your face rather than opening it up. So if that was at all confusing to you, just know the clampy part of the hair needs to be facing towards the mirror and then you curl to the opposite direction of your face. So if it's the right side of your face, you'll curl to the right. If it's the left side of your face, you'll curl to the left. Hope that made sense. So we clamp towards and away. And if you ever make the mistake of curling into your face, well, you probably won't ever make that mistake again because it looks very, very different. So this whole process to set my hair up usually takes me about 20 minutes, if you will. I normally don't do this unless I have an event of some type because it really gives you like an out of this world curl and out of this world do, like not something you would see just walking down the street. But hey, if you have 20 minutes to set your hair every day, then go for it. All right, take the hair out. So you should have a little ringlet like this. I'm gonna take one of the pink ones, one of the bigger ones, brush it all the way out to the end. And there you go. Sometimes when my hair is really, really layered and it's like freshly cut, I have some baby hairs that like to fall out. So I'll just grab the baby hairs and clip this end so it just stays up like that. So that is one entire side of your hair. So now I'm gonna go through this side faster so that we can get to the back of my hair. But if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, or if you need to see it again, hit that rewind button. So I know I look a little interesting. Don't worry, it's gonna get even more interesting <laughs> as we continue to create our whole head to look like this. Um, but right now you should have two curls on each side and then that three faux hawk. So this is what you should look like. 
if you look just like this then good job i remember when i first started doing this i was like oh my god i can't how do people make it look so clean like could not do it it took me so long to get the hang of it so if yours looks anything like this then you are doing fabulously so the next part is going to be the back which is going to be a little harder for me to demonstrate to you but as soon as i finish doing a set of curls i'm going to turn around so y'all can see exactly what it looks like and you can even feel free to screenshot uh, the video at any point in time if you need a photo to go back to in the future so the first thing i'm going to do let's see how well i can explain this so I'm going to continue on the faux hawk with this next curl. Now I'm going to turn around and show y'all with my fingers and like so y'all can actually see it. But when I turn this way, y'all won't be able to hear me as much because my mic is this way. So just follow what I'm doing. I think it's easier for y'all to actually just see what I'm doing rather than me try to explain it to you. So I'm going to turn around and do it. And again, if you need to pause, rewind, screenshot, do whatever you need to do, go for it. All right, so the chunk of hair I scooped up was basically a continuation, like I said, of the faux hawk. I'm gonna go in with a brush, and I am gonna curl this piece of hair exactly how I curled these three. You won't be able to see me do it that well because it's like behind my head, but exactly how you did these three is how you'll do this piece. All right, so this should be another Shirley Temple hair. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, I'm gonna go in with one of my red rollers, which is my smallest one. Brush it out a little. Go all the way to the end. I don't know if y'all can see. And roll it down. So I'll show y'all what it looks like as soon as I get it clipped up. Okay, I'm not sure how clean it is. Normally I do it in front of this mirror and I have like a smaller mirror that shows me the back of my head. So I hope it's not too messy, but if it is a little bit messy, that does not like take away what the curl is gonna look like when you take it out. So it's okay. So this is what the curl should look like once it's up. And we actually don't have that much left to do. I know it looks like we might have a lot, but we really don't. So the next thing, we use our thumbs a lot in this video, if you haven't noticed. I'm gonna go in right at like the center of my ear with both hands and go right across until they meet in the middle. And scoop that hair up. So I'm gonna show y'all about how much hair you should have scooped up. By the way, I hope y'all can see all this because I don't know what, what is getting caught on camera when I turn around. So after that, you're gonna split this section in two. So it should look like this. Um, put this piece of hair in front on your shoulder just so it doesn't get blended back in with that other hair. And then we're going to go on this side and split it in another set of two. So I'm going to put this middle piece on my shoulder so it doesn't get mixed. And we'll start with this out piece. So you should have a pretty little curl like this. I'm gonna go in with one of the red rollers, which is the smallest one. Brush it out and then curl it in. So for these curls, you want the roller to be standing up straight, just like, like a Coke can or, I can't believe that was the best analogy I could think of, but yeah, like a Coke can where it's like long ways. And then you're gonna clip it just like you did for the sides of your head. Then we're gonna do the same thing with that second piece. So just brush it out and up it goes in a curl. All right, so take this piece out, go in with a small red one brush it out and put it in the roller. Now these ones were always the hardest for me to learn how to clip in and do it all basically without seeing the curl because this is like directly on the back of your head and it's just practice, that's all it takes. I have been doing this exact same method to curl my hair up literally since I was 16 years old. So not to tell how old I am, but we're in a couple years, it'll be a decade, which is crazy. Okay, back to the hair. So you're gonna grab that piece 
that was put on this shoulder and do the exact same thing you did with these two curls. Split it in two, like that, and curl away from your face. So once those four curls around the back of your head up, it's gonna look something like this. Now again, I hope it's pretty and clean, but if it's not, then oh well. The curl's still gonna come out great. All right, so we are almost done. We only have two curls left. So basically the remainder hair that's down here, just split it in half like this. And we're just gonna curl both these pieces. So for this curl, I curl it away from my face, but when I get close to my scalp, I turn the iron so that it's horizontally down because that's the way we're gonna roll them up in the rollers is facing down rather than sideways, kind of like the top ones, not the side ones. So like I said, we're gonna be rolling this hair down horizontally like the top one, not the side ones. So if you can tell my roller is facing downwards, not sideways. All right, last curl, guys. It really doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it. All right, so the whole hair is curled. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around, face the back, so that y'all can see what my whole head looks like curled. Hopefully it's not too messy. I know I keep saying that, but I don't know what it looks like, so it's kind of scary for me to show y'all something I don't know what it looks like. But in any case, these curls will turn out great. And so if your hair looks anything kind of like this, you're good to go. So normally when I'm getting ready for an event and I do this style, I always curl my hair before I do my makeup so that for the 20 or 30 minutes it takes me to do my makeup, this hair can sit and really lock in those curls. Obviously my makeup's already done. So I'm gonna wait probably 10 minutes before I take these down just so they can really get comfortable in these rollers. I know these pieces of hair up here have been sitting for a while, but these lower pieces have not been and I really want them to sit in that curl for a while before I take them out because the longer they can sit in the roller, the longer they last for all day or a couple of days depending on how well you take care of them. So I really would suggest doing this before you do your makeup because then it has that whole time of you doing your makeup to sit in this curl. Honestly, if I have an event in the evening, I'll literally do this like first thing in the morning and just let them sit all day. This is durable, it's not gonna move and it has the whole day to sit in a curl. So as I said, the longer they can sit in the roller, the better, but I'm gonna go and wait like 10 minutes off camera and then I'll be back to take these down and kind of show y'all how I style my hair. All right guys, it's been a little over 10 minutes. I accidentally ended up on Instagram and when that happens, you end up scrolling. For sometimes hours on end, it wasn't hours on end, but definitely longer than 10 minutes. I've probably been sitting for like 30 minutes. So that's definitely enough time I feel to really get these curls locked into the rollers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them out. Now I'm gonna take all of the rollers and curls out. Just take the clips out, take the roller out and let the curl sit there. The only curlers I want you to leave in are the faux hot curls. So the three purple ones that we did at the very beginning of the video, cause we're gonna style those right when we take them out. So leave those in, but take all the other ones out. All right, so your hair should have quite a bit of volume and I haven't even brushed these out yet and applied any product to them after the Kerastase spray. 
So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to tease your hair to give it volume at the top. Now, if you are gonna go about like your normal day and you don't care for your hair to be like event ready, normally I'll just take these rollers out and there's enough volume for a normal day out or a dinner date with your boyfriend or some kind of a simple like dinner with your girlfriends or something like that. But if you're going to like the Oscars and you need that big, fabulous hair, that's what I'm gonna show you how to get now with some teasing. So I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but you will need a small tooth comb like this. Honestly, the smaller the teeth, the better. If you have a massive comb with big gaps in it, teasing won't work. Even the amount of space between this half of the comb is too much. It needs to have a side of the comb that is, if it'll ever focus, um, as small as this side. This side's too big. So we want the smallest amount of space between the teeth as possible because that gets the tightest tease. So I'm gonna take this back one out and I'm gonna pull the roller out and then I'm gonna take my teasing comb and just tease it. Now, depending on the amount of lift you want is how much you tease. If you want a little lift, you just do a little tease. If you want a ton of lift, then you just keep teasing. So I just want a little lift. I don't want to like, you know, go crazy. So basically also, if you've never teased before, you just pick up a section of hair and brush your hair down. That kind of pulls the hair down, giving it like a clump of hair. It's honestly not the prettiest thing ever. It's really, Basically, you're just giving a ball of hair that creates lift for the rest of your hair, but it works. So, just a little tease. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Kerastase and just spray that tease just a little bit. And you can see it's sitting up here. So, um, I'm gonna end up brushing the tease a little bit, but that's good because the more volume you can have, it's easier to tame it rather than getting volume. That's always the hardest part. So we'll take the second to last one out. Do the same thing. And once I have enough teas, spray it with my Kerastase. Lay that on top. Look, look at how much volume we have, guys. Don't worry, it'll look great by the end of the video. Take our last curl out. Sometimes these rollers like to grab onto other hair this. We tease the front. Trying to like look at the mirror and like keep my head in position for you guys. Cut. Spray back here. And you're likely going to have a faux hawk like this. I'm squatting down so y'all can see. It's literally just like volume. Crazy looking. So what we're gonna do to calm this down and style it is we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna brush the top of this teased faux hawk. And you're gonna brush it lightly. Probably gonna be a little challenging cause you know, there's tease there, there's a little hairspray there, um, but you're just gonna brush it so it looks nicer. And then I'm gonna, oh my God, I'm, I see myself and I'm like, oh my God. Um, I'm going to part my hair like I normally would in the center. Now the next part oh my God, is just you working with your hair. Now you're gonna brush your hair out, brush the curls out because they're really piecey right now. But the only place don't you shouldn't go all the way to your scalp to brush is right where you tease your hair because that will take away the tease. So really just like from here down on the tops of your hair, just basically the ends because you don't want to lose that volume. So I'm just gonna brush and kind of tassel mess my hair up a little bit until it's situated to what I like. All right, so my hair is pretty much how I like it. 
Um, my bangs usually take me the longest to situate because they're very curly and they want to get in my face. But once your hair is how you like it, take your Infra Texture Dual Hairspray and spray it on your hair. Really work this spray into the front part of your hair because if you spray it on and then sort of shape and frame your hair like I'm doing right now, where you can like kind of mold it to how you would like, then your hair has less of a chance of moving around. So there we go guys, that is the full tutorial on how to get big voluptuous glam hair. Um, if you would like this to hold even better and really like not move at all, I would suggest you checking out Helmet Head Spray by Chi. That is like the crunchy, like your hair is not moving when you spray that on. Every now and then, depending on how long I know I'm gonna be out, I do spray that on my hair because your hair will look the exact same when you come home as it did when you left. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions on anything I did, feel free to shoot me a comment down below. I promise you I will answer it. And I have linked everything that I used in this video down below. So if you're missing an item or you just wanna see what I used, definitely make sure to check down below for all of that. It feels kind of crazy having this type of hair because this was always the hair that I had when I competed in pageants and when I was Miss Texas Teen and Miss Texas. And this is just like always gonna be that blast from the past hair for me. But I absolutely love the way it looks, never fails me. The rollers never fail me in giving me the perfect curl that I want. And as I mentioned earlier, these curls are much curlier, curlier with the size barrel that I used. So if you are interested in a more loose, more natural looking swoop of a curl, just increase the size of your curling barrel and that will 100% guarantee give you that looser curl. Vice versa, if you want an even tighter curl, then get a smaller barrel. So anyways, guys, I had so much fun filming this video with y'all. I feel like I am 17 again. <laughs> back to living my pageant days, but I hope you'll have a great day. I hope this video was helpful and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.